what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a video that was posted on YouTube July 3rd. I don't know when the incident took place, but it was filmed by a white guy who said he was leaving his apartment complex office after asking some questions when he saw a black man talking to a police officer and he overheard the police officer say, look here, boy. He said it made the hairs on the back of his neck stand up. So he immediately started recording on his GoPro. He said the beeping noise from starting the GoPro caught the black guy and the cop's attention. And he said immediately the cop went from boy to sir, sir, sir. And if you watch the video, the cop said sir easily over a dozen times. Family, this is why people don't trust the police. This is why so many people, most people, don't trust the police. This cop obviously had no respect for the citizen who pays his salary. Zero. He called this man a boy, as you know. Boy is one of the most derogatory terms that anyone can call a black man, especially for a white person to call a black man a boy. It dates back to slavery and Jim Crow. Very, very disrespectful. And it's disrespectful to call any grown man boy. Even when my homies sometimes slip up and call me boy, I get offended. Like, man, I'm a grown man with a grown son and daughter. Hell, you mean boy. You know, I get offended by it. I don't care who's calling me that. So this cop fixed his mouth to call a grown man a boy. And then when he saw a dude standing on something, dude was like checking him. So why was the cop on the scene in the first place? He said he was dispatched by two separate residents at the same apartment complex because the landlord had entered their apartment complexes without notice. He acknowledged that the black guy contacted him first, but he stopped at the other residents first because the other residents was closest to him. Black guy took exception to that. He had a right to question the cop as to why he didn't come to him first. The cop did not have a right to get offended by being questioned. See, that's the problem. A lot of them feel like they somebody damn daddy or mama or something. Like, you, they're not supposed to be questioned. Like, you can't ask them, to, you're just supposed to listen to their instructions and only speak when spoken to. See, this guy was just another one of those arrogant dudes with a bad temper who has no business being a police officer, no business interacting with the public in an authoritative uh, position. Oh, no, no way possible. Now, the guy who filmed, he said that, look, man, I'm a 6'2", 220-pound white guy, and I've never once had a problem with the police. He acknowledged that there are people who have different experiences with the police based on their complexion. But he also acknowledged that he's usually for the police, but not with this guy. He said most police officers are good guys. I tend to disagree. He also said that he's not with the looting and uh, the riding, he said that, you know, he's pretty much, you know, pro-police, but not in this case. The police should be for the community, not against the community. 
And all too often, they got a me, a us against them mentality. That's the way a lot of them think. They get inside of that car and they feel they're safe inside of the car. And when they get out, they feel, ooh, gotta shoot something, gotta beat something, gotta kill something, gotta do something, gotta hit something, gotta be disrespectful to something. It's almost like they feel like they're overseas, like they're in the damn military or something. Where it's people out there, just everybody, everybody just, you know, trying to uh, blow their heads off or something, a bomb them. They have a us against them mentality. And this is why it is so much killing and destruction and disruption in America. Law enforcement plays a huge role in it. I know some of y'all can't see it because you think that the police is for you. You think that as long as the police ain't going upside your head, that you're safe, but you're not safe. And the police don't make you safer by beating up other people and bullying people that don't look like you. You're not safer because of that. If anything, you got people out there that's more angry. And if they get a chance to ride on you, they're going to ride on you. And ain't nothing the police is going to be able to do about it because the police don't pre prevent crimes. The police respond to crime. Okay? Understand this, fam. Let me say it again for the slow folks. The police don't prevent crime. They respond to crime. This officer, and I don't even like saying officer because officers sound almost like respect should come with it. This cop, this thug, there you go. This thug don't deserve to serve. He don't deserve the badge, the uniform, or the gun. Because I can guarantee you, if dude hadn't been there filming, he would have totally disrespected dude. He would have violated him. And it would have been his word against the cop's word. And you know, since the system is set up to protect the cop, you know how that go. Police officer, understand this. Your job, is to be for the community, not against the community. If you don't have the temperament to deal with people who disagree with you, to deal with people who may say things that you don't like, or may not move fast enough, or may not have the complexion that you're used to protecting. You don't need to be a police officer. You really don't need to be a human being. No more talk. What the talking about?